How's it going, people? Well, I'm back for more dynamic, because I haven't finished yet. Although, let's get in the spirit of things. <sighs> Ooh, that's yummy. All right, there was a test I was going to take last week, and I just got sleepy, didn't get around to it. So I'll do it now. Gauge your potential. Take this test. And it's a simple yes or no 10 questions. So let's give it a shot. Do you ever feel exhausted or worn out from the stress of life? Sometimes. That's not really yes or no, is it? Um, do I ever? Yes. But not always. So it's, it's, not, a, it's not a firm yes. It's um, often yes, or occasionally yes. Less and less yes. I don't stress things out. I don't stress out as much as I used to. I came up with these coping mechanisms like um, don't sweat things out of my control. You know, if something's going to happen no matter what, get ready for that and chill out. Two, do you sometimes experience self-doubt or worry in situations where you need to perform well? Like everybody else? Yes. Well, maybe not LRH. I mean, he was perfectly clear. Three, have you ever experienced physical pains or illnesses which have no obvious cause. Yeah, I have. I used to get depressed for no reason once in a while. And I've had headaches in the past and I didn't know why. Although there was probably a reason, I just didn't know what it was. Um... Four. Have you ever done something and then later thought, that's not really me? Yes. Since you said, have I ever? I mean, it sounds like a Ray Comfort quiz, you know? Have you ever told a lie or stole the Snickers bar? Then you're a liar and a thief. If you ever did it. Ever. Five. Have you ever had difficulty recovering from the loss of a loved one? I have remained devastated. But do you ever get over it? I mean, uh, difficulty. Not really. Just go through the natural process of grieving. And I've had to do a bit of that in my time. Like all of us. Most of us. And I'm sorry about that. But that's life. No guarantees. That's why people come to these guys and other groups like them. They want guarantees. They want reassurance. They want easy answers. Someone else to carry their load. Yeah. Hey, Jesus, you're dragging that cross. Drag mine, too. Thank you. I love that guy for that. Six. Do you find yourself responding to different kinds of situations with the same set of emotions? No. No, I don't believe so. Yeah, except Sometimes I just tell myself to take a deep breath 
and try not to get overwhelmed. I used to, but I've learned coping mechanisms through research, a little therapy, and my own um, intuition and judgment. Seven. Do you find it difficult to get excited about people or things? Do I find it difficult? Well, <laughs> I try to live in the moment as much as possible. It's a conscious effort on my part. And I try to look on the positive side of life, which is also my choice because the, the glass is half empty and half full at the same time. So there's two ways of looking at the same ineluctable result. Excuse me. Ah, end of the week. I have an apartment in Sacramento. I drive 90 miles to my house because I don't want to live in that town when I retire. <laughs> I like it. I like lots of towns. But... <sighs> I like this better, even though it's 90 miles away. And possibly, um, possibly going to be not even part of California for long. Possibly. Probably. Possibly. I don't care. But I might be the part of the state of Jefferson pretty soon. Anyhow, um... Yeah, so I'm and I, I'm excited about that. You know what? Sometimes I do roll my eyes when people tell me about their problems if they keep making the same mistakes over and over again and just don't want to get it. It's the definition of madness, you know? You do the same thing and expect a different result. Highly unlikely. Eight. We're getting through this. Uh, do you find you feel anxious but don't know why yeah sometimes uh, do I find since you're asking for an absolute answer and I don't like giving those um, okay sure yes nine do you find yourself trying to create better relationships yet the same difficulties keep occurring Actually, I have a rule. I try to make only new mistakes. You know, if you pay enough attention and if you look at things honestly, with a clear and objective free-thinking mind, um, you try something different each time. And you start seeing patterns, if you're paying attention, and go, She's not the same as that other one, but a little bit of, yeah, warning signs, red flags. You do something different. So, no. Um, ten. <laughs> do you wish you could boost your confidence and ability to reach your goals? First of all, they don't know about my goals, but funny how you join their group and your goals become their goals. Or maybe it's the other way around. Yeah, probably. Uh, yeah, but I'm realistic. How did I score? Yes, to four or less. Mm. Highly recommended. This is this is great shoot. Alright. Great. Smooth it kicks like a mute. Um okay. Uh yeah, yes to four or less uh, aspects 
of your life are holding you back from realizing your total potential. I wasn't really keeping track. I'll have to play this video back. Let's see. Um, yes. Yes. Hey, yes. No. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So it's six to four. All right. Um, yes to four or less. Any four? Damn! I almost made it. Uh, aspects of your life are holding you back from realizing your total potential. And I read that before, but not as well this, as I did this time. Yes, to five, uh, five to eight, between five and eight. Uh, painful experiences and losses of your past are having a heavy effect on your everyday life. Causing you unnecessary troubles. So actually, I did better than I thought. <laughs> Almost in the other section. Damn. Uh, yes to 9 to 12. Wait, 9 to 12. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, what? We only went to 10, 9 to 12. Ugh. I must be scoring it wrong. My math goes out the window whenever I visit my old friend here. Which I keep at the house, not the apartment. Sober as a judge all week long. I guarantee it. Anyway, yes, 10 through 12. No, they only have 10 questions. Uh, all right. Areas of your life are dictated by previous pain and trauma. And there's going to be wars and rumors of wars. And earthquakes somewhere. At some time in the future. All right. <laughs> Severely. <coughs> Severe there. Uh, Severely hindering you from living the kind of life you want. You should write that down before you do all this shit. And then find out if it will remain the same. Or if you'd just rather help them out now. Because you are they. They are you. Self-improvement. Uh, what do you do about your results? Well, they... All three possibilities were shitty, and I got the least shitty, but still shitty. <clears throat> hmm. All right. Um. What to do about your results? <coughs> mm. Excuse me. I can't believe I got the lighter wet. Hmm. That's better. That fixed it. All right. Back to the test. It's like high school all over again.
Oh yeah, you used to do tests. All right. Contact the registrar and find out how to apply Dianetics to transform your life. Yeah. Total transformation there. No one will even know you anymore. Oh. Whew. Nap time after this, and then I'll have to read more later. All right. Um. Cool. 916-319-544 or email sacramento at scientology.net which is what they catch you on when they're selling you a bridge. And that's it for the uh, gauge your potential. And as you can see it was only this long but for some reason <laughs> I drug it out for, I don't know, too long. I hope you learned something. I'm going to have to watch this again, and then I'll know. But feel free to tell me. Did you learn something? Let me know. Peace. The fuck. Out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. Because... I think you can. Bye.